Hi, this is the video of uh, showing you the second derivative. Second derivative basically is uh, you derive for the first derivative, you get the first derivative, and then you differentiate again, you get your second derivative. For example, if you are given as a one uh, function fx, you find okay dy dx will be equals to f prime x. You differentiate uh, the first time, you got the f prime x. And uh, the two y dx two will be differentiated for the second time, meaning that you got your first prime uh, f prime x, and then you differentiate one more time, you get your uh, f double prime. So here uh, we have uh, I have a four example to show you how to work for how to deal with the d two y dx two. So for is uh for the first example I have an uh, example a y equals to is a polynomial for x power of five plus x squared plus eight x plus five. It's a very simple question. So we would like to get the first derivative. We have a 20x power of 4 plus the 2x plus 8. Differentiate the constant, get 0. And uh, you further with uh, you further uh, differentiate to get a d2y dx2. That is your second derivative. Then uh, you use the same rule. 4 bring over, multiply by 20, you got 80. And then the power minus 1, you got 3 plus 2. Again, uh, differentiate 8 with respect to x, you get, a, uh, you get 0. So this will be our answer for the second derivative. So I'll proceed to the uh, example b. For the example b, before I start, I'm not going to use uh, to apply product rule for this uh, question. So I would just uh, expand this inside. I got x squared multiplied by 1, got x squared. Minus x squared multiplied by 3x, you got 3x squared, 3x cubed. Then I will start to get my dy dx, which is your first derivative. First derivative, we apply the sum and difference rule. And uh, we got a differentiate x squared, you got 2x. Differentiate uh, 3x cubed, you got 9x squared. So to get a d2y dx2, meaning that from here you differentiate again one more time, you get 2 minus 18x. That will be the second derivative. For the example c, First of all, uh, before we start to differentiate, I would like to rewrite this into this form first. So that I can apply the power rule to get the first derivative first. Bring over the negative 1 to the front and uh, copy down whatever inside the bracket to your bracket over here. And the power minus 1, you get negative 2. Then don't forget to differentiate the inner function, which is uh, you get 1. So after you simplify, you will get negative 1 over x plus 2 squared because the power of negative over here means that you need to find the reciprocal of x plus 2 that will be 1 over x plus 2 and the square will be over here then to find the d2y dx2 i will rewrite this in this form so that it's easier for me to differentiate i will bring the negative 2 over multiply by negative 1 i got 2 all right and then uh, provide a bracket for it. Power of negative 2 minus 1, you get negative 3. So this uh, x minus 2 as your inner function, you just copy down as x minus plus 2. Multiply by, differentiate the inner function, you got 1. Then uh, you simplify it, you will have your x plus 2 power of 3. 2 over x plus 2 power of 3. That is our d2y dx2. Now we proceed to the next example. Before we start, we will rewrite the question, the function into this form first, then get your dy dx. The dy dx bring the negative 5 multiplied by 4, you get negative 20. And then the bracket, just copy the inner function down. Here I apply the power rule, alright? And then uh, power minus 1, you get negative 6. Don't forget to differentiate the inner function. You got negative 2. Then you multiply negative 2 by negative 20. You got a 40. 3 minus 2x power of negative 6. You don't have to simplify uh, until the simplest form because uh, you, your, your question is finding the d2y dx2. So find the d2y dx2 by applying the power rule again. Negative 6 bring over multiply by 40. You get negative 420, uh, 240. And then this is the bracket for the inner function. Copy it down. 
the power of negative 6 u multi uh, minus 1, you get negative 7. Don't forget to multiply by uh, uh, differentiate the inner function, which is your negative 2. Then simplify it, you will have a 480 over 3 minus 2x power of 7. Okay, so this is your d2y dx. Let's move to the e, the example e. We have a, okay, this is the, in the form of a fx power of n. So I'll apply the power rule, or you might apply the chain rule. So dy dx, uh, we uh, actually bring the 3 over to the front, and then the bracket is for copy down the inner function. Power of 3 minus 1, you get a 2. Multiply by, you mul uh, differentiate the inner function, which is a 4x minus 1, you get 4. Then we try to uh, simplify, you get 12. 4x minus 1 power of 2. Now we proceed to the uh, d2y dx2, which is your second derivative. <coughs> Again, apply the power rule. Bring the 2 over, multiply by 12, you get 24. And the power of 2 minus 1, you get 1. Copy the inner function inside the bracket, that is 4x minus 1. And multiply by, differentiate the inner function, you get 4. Right, then you get 96, 4x minus 1. This is your d2y, dx2. Now move to the next example. If you have a function given in this form, we will write this into this form. Square root, change it into the power of 1 over 2. Then we start to differentiate, find the first derivative, bring the 1 over 2 to the front, and then the 1 over 2 power minus 1, you get negative 1 over 2. So then multiply by the, differentiate the inner function, which is 2. So the 2 and the 2 over here can be cancelled off. You have a 1 over square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, then uh, you proceed to finding the second derivative. Finding the second derivative, you are bringing over the negative 1 over 2 to the front. And then uh, inner functions, copy it down. Negative 1 over 2 minus 1, you get negative 3 over 2. Multiply by, multi uh, multiplying these uh, uh, Find the differentiate the inner function, you get 2. Then the 2 and the 2 here goes, uh, can be cancelled off. You have your negative 1 over 2x plus 1 power of 3 over 2. And you may write your answer in this form because the over 2, the power of over 2 means the square root. 2x plus 1. And the power of 3 here is uh, means that this is uh, 2x plus 1 power of 3. This is a second derivative. Now move to the next example. Next example, we need to apply the coach, uh, sorry, product rule because uh, our function is consists of x multiplied by 1 minus 3x power of 5. And the 1 minus 3x power of 5 is impossible for us to expand manually. Okay, and uh, it very take time. Then uh, we, uh, I decide to uh, use the uh, product rule to differentiate it. I will let the u to be the x and the v as your 1 minus 3x power of 5. So write it down beside here. Uh, so u equals to x, finding the u prime, you will have 1. And the v equals to 1 minus 3x power of 5. To get the v prime, we apply the product uh, power rule, which is uh, bringing the 5 over to the front. And then the power of 5 minus 1, you got 4. Multiply by, differentiate the 1 minus 3x, you get negative 3. Simplify it. After that, we are going to uh, substitute the u and u prime v, v prime into our uh, product rule, which is a u v prime plus a v u prime. u v prime, copy down the u as your x. v prime is your negative 15. Multiply by 1 minus 3x power of 4. I use the square bracket. Okay. Plus v u prime. v is your 1 minus 3x power of 5. And I multiply by u prime is 1. Simplify it. You will get negative 15x. 1 minus 3x power of 4. Plus 1 minus 3x power of 5. 
So everyone can get until here, but this is not yet the simplified answer. We need to simplify it. We can simplify it by factor out the 1 minus 3x power of 4. And uh, after the first term, once you differentiate, once you factor out the 1 minus 3x power of 4, you have your negative 15x. And second term, you left 1 minus 3x power of 1. Simplify again. You have your 1. Negative 15x minus uh, 3x, you get a negative 18x. Then now, we would like to find the d2y dx2. This already been simplified. The dy dx been simplified to the simplest form. Then uh, I will find my d2y dx2. Again, I will make this uh, represent by the u and this represent by the v. So u will be the 1 minus 3x power of 4. To get a u prime, I apply the power rule. I got my 4, 1 minus 3x power of 3 because the power of 4 minus 1, you got 3. Multiply by the differentiate inner function, you get negative 3. Then you simplify it, you get negative 12, 1 minus 3x power of 3. Okay, this is a u and u prime. v, v is 1 minus 18x. So v prime, so simple, just get the negative 18. Now you can uh, substitute the uh, using the product rule to get your d2y dx2. The product rule given is a uv prime plus a vu prime. Substitute the u as a 1 minus 3x power of 4. And the v prime is negative 18 plus v is your 1 minus 18x. Multiply by the u prime, which is a negative 12, 1 minus 3, x power of 3. Okay, so now we have a two terms. We have two terms. If you want to rewrite them into the form which is uh, easier for you to see, okay, you can just uh, rewrite your answer. Put a, the negative 18 as your coefficient. And uh, this is your negative 12 negative 12 1 minus 18 x multiplied by 1 minus 3 x power of 3 okay so now we have a two terms the first term is this one and the second term is this so look at the two terms consider the two both terms is there any common factor that we can factor out look at the coefficient 18 and 12 we can just take out the negative 6, factor out the negative 6, and a 1 minus 3, 4, uh, 1 minus 3 x power of 4. Second term also co uh, containing 1 minus 3 x power of 3. Eh? So we can take out the 1 minus 3 x power of 3, factor out the 1 minus 3 x power of 3. Then uh, inside the bracket, what you left after the for, uh, what you left uh, for the first term after you have uh, factor out this number, you got a uh, 3. Because negative 18 divided by negative 6, you got 3. And 1 minus 3x power of 4, take out 1 minus 3x power of 3, you left 1 minus 3x power of 1. Minus, when you take out the negative, uh, negative 12 divided by negative 6, you got positive 2. 1 minus uh, 18x, and uh, 1 minus 3x power of 3 has been uh, factored out, so left a 1. Then uh, we have uh, this one already been factored out. We just copy it down. Then uh, we expand the uh, whatever inside the bracket. Then we simplify. 3 minus 9x plus 2 minus uh, 36x. Negative 6, 1 minus 3x power of 3. And uh, 3... 3 plus 2, 5, negative 9, minus negative 36, you got negative 45x. Okay, and uh, later on, you can see that 5 and 45, you can take out the 5, because the 5 is a common factor. Then this becomes 1 minus 9x. 
So simplify again, you get negative 30. 1 minus 3, x power of 3, 1 minus 9x. So, for the question H, mm, this uh, we need to apply the quotient rule because uh, the y given, the function given is in the quotient form. We have a u over v. So, uh, recall back to the quotient rule, if you have a u over v, how do you get the du, d, uh, dy, dx? You're going to copy down the v first. Then, uh, uh, multiply by the u prime minus u, v prime over v squared. Firstly, I will let the u equals to 1 minus x. Then, get your u prime first. That is 1. And the v is 1 minus x. So, your v prime will be negative 1. So, insert all this into the into the formula to get your dy dx. So v is negative 1. Uh, sorry. V is a 1 minus x. Copy the v. Differentiate the u that, you, that is your u prime. 1 minus. Copy the u that is your 1 plus x. Multiply by negative 1 which is your v prime. Over v squared. That is your 1 minus x squared. Then you simplify the numerator. Negative multiplied by negative, you get positive. Positive 1 plus x over 1 minus x squared. See, uh, consider the numerator. See what term that, like term that we can uh, join together. We have 2 because negative x plus x is 0 over 1 minus x squared. Then we need to find the d2y dx2. <clears throat> to find the d2y dx2, I prefer to rewrite <clears throat> my dy dx into this form. Then get your d2y dx2. <clears throat> so for the d2y dx2, we apply the power rule. Bring the negative 2, multiply by 2, you get negative 4. And the power, minus 1, you get negative 3. Multiply by differentiate inner function, you get negative 1. So simplify it, you get a 4 over 1 minus x cubed. This is your d2y dx2. Alright, so that's it for this video. Okay, uh, thank you for watching.